If you want to practice all of the new PTE questions using artificial intelligence on an online portal that has a similar marking to your real PTE exam, head over to masterpte.com.au to create a free account. Here, you can practice all four sections separately and receive instant feedback for all of your speaking, writing, reading, and listening. You can also view and compare your answers with others who have already succeeded in achieving a high score. Download 9090 Bands template for speaking, writing, and listening. Take mock test, receive instant result, overall feedback, and in-depth analysis which helps you pinpoint exactly where you lose points. MasterPTE.com.au the best PTE practice software in the world. So today we're going to finish talking about the fat-soluble vitamins. I'm going to start with vitamin D and I think probably most of you know that vitamin D is called the sunshine vitamin, and it's called that because there's absolutely no dietary need for vitamin D if you get adequate sunshine, and the real important word there is it because it turns out that in climates which aren't near the equator. There's a big question as to whether or not using these you get adequate sunshine and that's important because foods are not naturally abundant in vitamin D. And that's why milk is fortified but the fortification may not be enough. So again just exposure to sunlight is adequate no need for vitamin D. So vitamin D really isn't the vitamin. It's a pro-hormone. When human beings evolved we evolved in tropical climates and ran around naked. There was plenty of skin exposure to sunlight and so there was no dietary need for vitamin D. As humans migrated away from tropical regions, they actually created a need for vitamin D in food. Because sunlight was inadequate particularly during the winter. Approach motivation and avoidance motivation are both composed of three conceptually distinct components. Motivation approach indicates a propensity to move toward or maintain contact with a desired stimulus, which is positive, such as vocational plans. Avoidance indicates a propensity to move away from or maintain distance from an undesired stimulus in order to reduce anxiety. You run from line of control in avoidance motivation, and avoidance motivation is intense and rapid.
The research shows that girls have a higher level of English results than boys in the same class, because boys and girls are different in learning styles, and their brain functions are different in mechanisms. Male students were detected to be significantly more aware of the developments in the field of physics than female students. According to the content analysis results concerning this finding, unlike female students male students were more interested in technological developments. This finding is not surprising when the passive social role of females and the general social structure in which they tend to more sociable fields are considered. This finding may have occurred due to the fact that males are generally more interested in technology than females. Previous studies support this finding. Boys are more simplified, and teachers' teaching style normally suits girls better than boys. Teachers should find different teaching approaches respectively for boys and girls. As long as industrialized nations consume energy and developing countries increase their fossil fuel consumption the concentration of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere will continue to rise. Researchers predict that temperatures will increase about 2 to 10 degrees Fahrenheit by the end of the century. What's less certain is what rising temperatures mean for the planet. Some climate models predict subtle changes. Others forecast rising sea levels which could flood coastal areas around the world. Weather patterns could change, making hurricanes more frequent. Severe droughts could become more common in warm areas and species unable to adapt to the changing conditions would face extinction. Although much remains to be learned about global warming, many organizations advocate cutting greenhouse gas emissions to reduce the impact of global warming. Consumers can help. By saving energy around the house, switching to compact fluorescent light bulbs and driving fewer miles in the car each week. These simple changes may help keep the earth cooler in the future.
The natural resources we consumed are unsustainable, so we have to develop alternative energy, such as wind power, biological energy, and hydropower. Among them, solar energy should be given high priority because it's not only reusable and renewable but also can be easily acquired on land. However, these types of energy are hard to store, so new technology is still required. An essay is a chance to identify your reading and learning. As a writer, you first need to collect many materials, then write an essay in four or five paragraphs, structures and quotes. If someone is searching for a book or article to read, he or she will decide from the very beginning whether this work is worth attention. If you want to wow your teacher, polish the introduction, especially the first couple of sentences. Add an essay hook something interesting, funny, shocking, or intriguing to win the reader's attention. Build an emotional connection with your reader right from the start. A hook in the essay is a catchy sentence or paragraph in the impressive introduction which serves as an attention element and an important part. An excellent hook sentence is engaging and interesting. It is a perfect method to start an argumentative or persuasive essay. The hook for your essay often appears in the first sentence. The opening paragraph includes a thesis sentence. Some popular hook choices can include using an interesting quote, a little-known fact, famous last words, or a statistic. I suppose you wouldn't expect perhaps to find a mathematician in a museum of historical objects, but actually, the objects that I've been drawn to in this museum have quite a lot of mathematical significance. These Neolithic stones, discovered in Scotland, dating back 5,000 years, are probably the first examples of humans exploring the concept of symmetry. And that's what I do as a practicing mathematician. I spend my life trying to understand what symmetries are possible, in nature and in mathematics and abstractly. 
And here I've got a connection, going back 5,000 years, to people who are already trying to understand how can I arrange patches on the side of these stone balls in a symmetrical manner. One of the intriguing things about these stones is that we don't actually know what they're for. They might have been for divination trying to predict the future. They might have been part of a game. They look very much like dice, but we don't really think there is any game associated with them. Maybe they were just for chucking around. They're very nice in the hand when you hold them. Or maybe they were symbols of power in the clan. I suppose that's why I like them because we don't really know what they are. If I had a theory about why they were doing this it would be that actually, they were starting to be mathematicians, and that here we see the first example of abstract thought at work. That these weren't for a purpose. Mathematics is a great subject, created a lot of the technology around us, but mathematicians we create our mathematical objects for the joy and the beauty, so it will be lovely to think that these didn't actually have a use, that they were just really a celebration of what's possible. The development of machines is a sign of the development of the country. Machines are getting better with technological improvements, such as face recognition or language processing techniques. People make money from machines with our life as dependent on them. However, the use of machines will lead to rise of unemployment. We have to create more jobs for people, otherwise we would have nowhere else to go. Honeybees do a waggle dance to direct other bees to sources of nectar, but dancing bees like this one can be halted by a headbutt from another bee. Now, researchers have found that this headbutt is actually a warning signal. A feeding station was set up in the lab to mimic a source of nectar. 
Then foraging bees were introduced to dangers at the station, such as competition from rival colonies. When foragers returned to the hive, they stopped bees dancing. Scientists think the behavior warns dancers of a dangerous source of nectar. The nature of the business entity is to exchange something you have for something you desire. The function of marketing is to transfer products from suppliers to consumers to meet their demands. Meanwhile, the capital gain is crucial, and it is important to assure capital return because this is how investment and production can continue. If you want to practice all of the new PTE questions using artificial intelligence on an online portal that has a similar marking to your real PTE exam, head over to masterpte.com.au to create a free account. Here, you can practice all four sections separately and receive instant feedback for all of your speaking, writing, reading, and listening. You can also view and compare your answers with others who have already succeeded in achieving a high score. Download 9090 Bands template for speaking, writing, and listening. Take mock test, receive instant result, overall feedback, and in-depth analysis which helps you pinpoint exactly where you lose points. MasterPTE.com.au the best PTE practice software in the world.